Now, in news that's a bit more colourful, Britain's Got Talent artist Nathan Wyburn has now got a residency at TechniQuest. Nathan became famous for making Simon Cowell's face out of toast on the popular entertainment show. Now, to celebrate TechniQuest's 30th anniversary, he's sticking around all week to make portraits of Einstein out of sweets. Matthew Harris reports. Nathan Wyburn has been given the week's residency to help celebrate TechniQuest's 30th anniversary. And Nathan has recently had his artwork projected onto City Hall and he also drew Gareth Bale's portrait on a fridge for the Euros. Yes, yeah, so I got I seen that TechniQuest was celebrating their 30th anniversary and I got in touch to see if I could do a portrait here and it seemed quite fitting to one of the most famous scientists of all time, Albert Einstein. Quite a smart guy, smarties, food artist, seemed perfect. And you've done some interesting portraits down the years. Where does this rate among them? Um, this is definitely one of the most intricate, um, sort of individually gluing every single Smarty down. It's becoming a little bit tedious, but I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end. Um, yes, yeah, definitely one of the most difficult. It's one of the biggest as well, so I just can't wait to see what it looks like finally when it's up there on the wall and people get to walk into TechniQuest and see my, my artwork on display, so I'm really excited. And it's going to be a, a permanent exhibit, which means people can come and see it whenever they want. That must be quite cool for you. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I think I'm, I'm kind of slowly taking over Cardiff with, with my permanent exhibits. But yes, this is going to be co coated with a resin, and so it will be permanently on display here for, well, hopefully as long as possible. So it's really exciting for me. And just how long do you think roughly this is going to take you to make gluing individual Smarties down? Yes, well, I started Monday, and I'll be here on probably the rest of the week. So I think it's going to take me the entire six days to individually do it. And as I said, then just coating it at the end, and I can't wait to see what it looks like. And you've become quite a, an inspirational artist uh, across Cardiff. For people watching this who want to get into it, how would you recommend going about doing that? I think definitely for any artist, everybody's individual, so stick to what you really enjoy. Um, I studied fine art at Cardiff Met University, and it was very sort of traditional, so I sort of found myself conflicted quite a lot. Um, but d definitely now, it's been my full-time career for nearly five years, doing these kind of brand commissions and different celebrity portraits. A lot of celebrities get in touch now as well themselves. Obviously, Einstein can't but it'd be great to get some sort of scientist response. Um, obviously, they come here and do talks all the time, so it'd be brilliant to get a response from someone that knows what they're talking about with the science. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's been going very well. And obviously, unfortunately, on, on Twitter recently, you've had a couple of bad comments. How have you been reacting to that? How have people have been reacting to that? Yes, yeah, so I did a portrait of Justin Bieber entirely using uh, my lips, using lipstick inspired by his song Love Yourself. And it's get, it got quite a lot of um, homophobic abuse, really, people making quite harsh comments. Um, but that's just the way the internet is. For me, it doesn't bother me. I'm very confident in myself now. I was bullied a lot growing up. That's why I'm an ambassador for anti-bullying charities and Pride Cymru. Um, but I like to raise awareness of it because some people might not be able to deal with it so easily. So, yeah, it's definitely something that I feel passionate about. Nathan will continue to make the portrait over the coming weeks. The artwork will then be on permanent display at TechniQuest. This is Matthew You're Harris. You're watching Cardiff News Cardiff coming New. up. The Guinness launch, not, but not the...